Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Oregon Motorcycle. In today's episode, we're talking about brakes, and I'm going to show you an economical brake upgrade for your motorcycle. Alright guys, so today we're talking brakes like I said, and uh, right here I have some EBC brake pads. These are the double H, double H uh, centered brake pads, and in my opinion this is a good all around upgrade because these are some high quality brake pads here, and uh, they're less resistant to corrosion versus other cheaper pads, and um, I just think it's a good quality all around pad. The other thing right here is uh, DOT 5.1 fluid. Um, this is an upgrade to your brake system. Uh, because of two reasons is it's not hydroscopic so it doesn't attract moisture so you don't really want to get moisture in your brake lines and dot four and dot three uh, that actually attracts moisture and this uh, fluid doesn't the other thing that's great about this fluid is it has about a 40 degree Fahrenheit higher boiling point than uh, dot four which means um, you're gonna have less brake fade given the same situations and when you have a single uh, disc rotor like this like setup I believe that's pretty important you don't want to have brake fade or experience brake fade and running this fluid in your motorcycle will help with brake fade right out of the gate and you couple that with some good quality brake pads and in my opinion this is a really good um, upgrade for your brakes so this is a Honda CB500X as some of you guys know I bought it brand new in uh, early 2020 it's a 2019 model and I've already replaced the front brake pads at 10,000 miles with EBC brake pads. So these ones, I got about uh, 15,000 miles out of these front ones. And I still have the factory original brake pads in the back. So overall I have almost 26,000 miles on this bike. And so I got about that out of the rear brake pads. So I have EBC rear brake pads for the back and we're gonna bleed the brakes front and back. Um, this was bled out with 5.1 when I did the EBC brake pads, but the rear, like I said, is all factory. So we're gonna replace that fluid too. So let's jump into it folks.
basically folks, I'm just pumping all this old fluid out. I'm gonna add some, you wanna keep the reservoirs full. This isn't really a tutorial on how to bleed your brakes. There's probably a million videos on YouTube of how to bleed your brakes. And uh, this thing I'm gonna get these brakes bled and then so we're gonna go for a test drive. Get them seated up. All right, folks, I'm out here uh, doing a little test drive around the neighborhood. And you know, you wanna get them bedded in before you really try to hit it hard. So you just wanna do like a series of some slow stops. You know, you don't wanna to come to a complete stop, but basically, you know, you're just getting the brake pads seated in to the disc. You know, if you look at it from a microscopic point of view, there's some rough surfaces. And those surfaces need to bed into each other in order to create you know the utmost in uh, friction or surface area whatever you want to call it so right now with the new pads there's not a complete surface area so bedding makes them you know made 100 percent or whatever you want to call it or not 100 percent. there's no such thing as 100 percent, right <laughs> anyway so yeah just do some slow you know and then once you start feeling more comfortable then you can do a couple higher speed stops and and uh and that's the gist of it so it's not like I have a new rotor, so it's not that crazy. It's like if you had new pads and new rotors, you need to do a little more, more of a bedding in process. Uh, when I first got this bike, when I had it brand new, it took a good handful of miles before I really felt comfortable with the brakes. But as you can see here, see I've already got really good brakes. So, and that was just the front brake. So I'm kind of like playing around a little bit with the back brake too. So I just push off the clutch and you can already feel the ABS kicking in on the back brake, so. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And like I said, EBC brake pads and the DOT 5.1 fluid is, in my opinion, a really good setup uh, for your bike. So, anyways, until next time, folks, Oregon Motorcycle.